Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. I just thought I'd make a quick video today because as you can already tell by the title, it's my two year hairiversary today. Um, it's been two years since I relaxed my hair, um, so I'm still transitioning. I did initially plan on cutting off my relaxed ends today on the two year mark, but I don't know, I'm just not ready yet. So I'm gonna just leave it another year or so and then I'll see where I'm at. I'm just kind of trying to achieve a certain length with just my natural hair. So I don't really feel like I'm at that place where I want to be yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on transitioning. You know, my routine and everything is working fine for me so far. I don't really, I don't really feel the need to change anything. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd make this video um, not really as a celebration thing, but kind of just take a little trip down memory lane. <laughs> um, because I do remember like when I first started, even after a year, oh my goodness, it was just so hard. Like all the other people who transition, a lot of people don't even last a year. They, you know, big chop after a few months, but it was very, very difficult for me. I think like the only reason why I didn't big chop was because I just kept on reminding myself what my initial goal was because um, I decided, decided to transition because I just got sick of having, you know, unhealthy, relaxed hair. I felt like I was just purposely killing my hair and all of a sudden I was just kind of like, why am I doing this to my hair? But anyways, um when I made the decision that I didn't want to relax my hair anymore, I didn't really know what the other options were. So, you know, I started watching YouTube videos and stuff and I came across the Fusion of Cultures, Layla, her channel, Hair Crush, Taryn Guy, um, like all these different amazing women on YouTube who had been doing it for years. And, but in particular, Layla from Fusions of Cultures was just such an inspiration to me, like her, transition process like she tra she transitioned for two years as well so that kind of gave me a little benchmark of not really her hair was like this at two years so my hair should be like this at two years but the fact that she was able to do it for that long made me truly believe like okay it's definitely possible you don't have to big chop um after like you know three months or something but yeah I don't know it's just like a sigh of relief that I'm finally here and I'm just excited to see like you know what the future holds for you know <laughs> me and my hair um so anyways today I just have it in usually like I never ever ever wear my hair out I always have it up in a bun or you know in a goddess braid or I don't know just a back ponytail whatever not ponytail but like a sleek back bun or something or up in a puff, rarely. But anyways, today I have a very loose twist out. And as you can see, my relaxed ends didn't really, you know, feel like behaving themselves today. My relaxed ends are worse on this side than on that side. Whenever I put in like flexi rods or anything, like seriously, some parts on this side will still be straight. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, they just, oh. anyways mind of their own but yeah I just I washed my hair yesterday I deep conditioned the day before like overnight and stuff with the or Aubrey organics GPB um like glycogen protein balancing condition I'm sorry I can't remember the name of it but I'll link it below that conditioner um overnight and I put a cling film around and wrapped it with a satin scarf went to bed you know did my business whatever and then the next day I washed it with the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo. And then I used this leave-in conditioner, the Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. That's what I use. I did used to use the G Fanny's Direct Leave-In, which I loved. But I just decided to buy this next to give it a try. And I absolutely love it. There'll be a video coming up soon enough. Hopefully I'll do a like specific review on this, what my thoughts are, you know, pros and cons. Um, but yeah, so my hair was about, I don't know what percentage, but it was partly air dried in twists after I put in, you know, the conditioner, 
and the um like my olive oil oil my scalp with my castor oil and tea tree treatment thing um so after i did that i just put them into twists and then i left it for about two hours and i went back to each one and just kind of tension dried it on cold air and then i twisted it back up again into smaller sections this time because initially i had it in six sections that's how i wash my hair in six sections and then at the end of each twist i just had a flexi rod only on the relaxed parts because they like never twist or braid or anything it's just so frustrating but yeah this is the finished look i just you know separated with coconut oil and fluffed out it looks terrible look at that but anyways i'm just gonna tuck that in i'm happy with my hair after two years guys i did a little length trek thing oh yeah just another little thing i know i did a 17 month update transitioning length check video and i said i was gonna do them every two months but then i realized that by doing that and putting pressure on myself and putting pressure on my hair like if i'm expecting my hair to grow an inch every two months or what is it half an inch every month let's say it grows 75 percent of that in the given period i'll be like oh what's wrong with my hair it's growing too slow i need to do this I need to do that so that's another thing that i've learned over my transitioning process is just not to pressure myself not to feel like oh i need to do these five things or my hair won't grow i need to use these oils or my hair is going to fall out i need to do this treatment or my hair is going to be really dry no 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 over the two years i've found a very very basic simple routine that works for me i only wash my hair like every six weeks and i'm completely fine with that i mean obviously i do keep my hair moisturized over the course of that time but depending on your schedule, you know, your own hair type, your, like, just do what you want to do. And if you know me, you know, I'm very big on, you know, that kind of whole philosophy in life, like, just do what you want, as long as you're not hurting anybody else, screw everybody else. Um, but yeah, guys, I just, I know I'm kind of ranting on, but I wanted to just make a more laid back, relaxing, chatty video with you guys um you know something more relatable um so yeah this is my hair i'll insert pictures and stuff of what it looked like before i took it down and after i took it down obviously i know you can see it but you know i got a bit gas so i just i was just taking pictures all over the place um but yeah anyways thanks for watching if you're transitioning as well and you don't you know want to share your stories or if you have any tips or anything comment down below thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed already comment down below and i'll see you next time bye